Could stress be shaping the course of your pregnancy? In this video, we'll cover the two common ways that stress affects the mother and the fetus during the course of a pregnancy, along with the overall long-term impact that we'll discuss at the end. So to begin, let's first ask some questions. How does stress affect the body? Stress flips the body's survival switch. Hormones like cortisol flood the system, preparing for fight or flight. It's like slamming your foot on the gas pedal useful for escaping danger, but not sustainable for a long drive. It disrupts sleep, blood pressure, and even the immune system. Like an engine running hot for too long, the parts start to grind and the system begins to break down. Question two, is stress bad for pregnancy? The short answer is yes, because pregnancy depends on a balance and stress tilts that balance towards instability. While everyday worries usually don't cause harm, ongoing stress can influence how the body nourishes and protects life. It's like a garden hose with pressure dropping. The flow weakens when it's needed most. Question three, can stress cause bleeding during pregnancy? Stress doesn't cause bleeding directly, but it can rise blood pressure and disrupt hormones, which may increase risk. Imagine a rope already under strain. Tugging harder doesn't create the weakness, but it can make the line snap sooner. And for any concerns about bleeding or any other questions, consult your healthcare physician for a professional opinion. If the bleeding does occur, it's usually due to medical causes, though stress can make the body more vulnerable. It's like cracks in glass. The stress doesn't make the first fracture, but it can make the cracks spread faster. The last question, how does stress affect pregnancy? So there's two main ways. First, stress alters blood flow. It diverts circulation away from the uterus toward vital organs, like rerouting electricity in a city grid. Some neighborhoods go dark while others light up brighter. This means less oxygen and less nutrients can reach where they're needed most. It's like a river that splits. One branch dries while the other surges, leaving fields downstream thirsty. The second way is deeper. Stress changes the immune system. Like a castle lowering its drawbridge to welcome an ally, pregnancy requires tolerance, but stress rattles the gates. During pregnancy, the immune system lowers its defenses to tolerate new life, the baby. But stress can alter and disrupt this delicate truce, like storm clouds crashing on a beach that before had nice, beautiful, calm waves. When that balance tips, it increases risk of complications like preterm labor or low birth weight. So overall, how does stress affect pregnancy? It narrows blood flow, reshapes the immune system, and tilts the body off balance. But here's the good news. Most everyday stress won't ruin a pregnancy. The body is built to buffer short bursts. Like a strong bridge, it holds steady while passing storms rage above. It's chronic, unrelenting stress that raises risks, the kind that doesn't let the body rest. Like running endlessly on a treadmill, the body burns out without pause. What can we do? Managing stress through rest, support, and mindfulness helps protect both health and pregnancy outcomes. It's like building a safe harbor in stormy seas. It's not about eliminating all stress, but about creating moments of recovery. Like recharging a drained battery, even small pauses can help restore balance. So stress doesn't just affect the brain. It reshapes the entire environment of pregnancy. Like weather patterns shaping an entire planet, its effects ripple everywhere around the body.